Over here, I have my Nancy Drew selection on top. My little bowl my daughter made in ceramics. Um, and then I have the Medical and Health Encyclopedia. And I have the Selected Works of Edgar Allan Poe. It's a very, very big, cool book. There's that. And I also have Dance of Shadows. Very cool book if you like time travel and stuff and ballerinas. Very good book. And then Such Wicked Intent. This is actually the second book. I didn't realize that, but it's very good. It's also time travel. Um, and then this little guy won't go in. Okay. I got this one at the Dollar Tree. Bewitching season. It's pretty good. Uh, the Countess and the King. I got that at the Dollar Tree. And I haven't read it yet. Um, this one is Sarah Band for Two Sisters by Philippa Carr. And this is a, um, a pen name for Victoria Holt. So she has a whole slew of books under this name. And I want to get them all because I really love this book. It's about these twins who are in love with a man and there's some trickery and it's very cool. And my favorite book, I don't know, I've loved it ever since the 90s. I've had it for a long time. Prima Ballerina, a romance for young moderns. I don't know, I just love this book and kept it forever and ever. And then this one's pretty cool too. Um, it's uh, I Captured the Castle, it's really cool. I like it. This one was pretty cool, has a love triangle in it, Dinner Antoine's. Uh, love Phyllis Whitney. This is Snowfire. This is, what is this? Oh, oh, 13 Clues for Miss Maple. Wait, Maple? Marple? Maple? <laughs> it's an old, oh, Miss Marple. Really good book, mystery. Should be with my mystery books, but it's not. So anyway, I put it up there. The Treasure of Pleasant Valley. I don't think I read that. You know what it was? My daughter picked it out when she was little. She just liked the cover, so I don't think we ever read it though. So um, there's that. And we also have Cleopatra back. Einstein. And then over here are the mysteries and scary books. So we have Communion, A True Story. It's about something with like aliens. I haven't read it all. Um, this one, it was here. I think it's from my um, Rod's daughter, Meg Cabot. Cabot, writing as Jenny Carroll, codename Cassandra. I don't know what that's about. Um, Dean Coots, a couple, Dean Coons, a couple books here. Really liked him. Some books are very interesting. I have Phantoms. I have The Door to December. I have Sh 77 Shadow Street. I didn't like this one. You know, I thought I had more of his books. Oh well, I must have got rid of them. I didn't mean to, but. I don't know. Anyway, we got this one, um, Innocence. We have this one. Oh my gosh, I love this book. Death of a Schoolgirl, The Jane Eyre Chronicles. If anyone is in love with Jane Eyre and the story, this kind of just continues with her life and they're like, um, they're like, um, like Sherlock Holmes. They're mysteries. Very cool. Very, very cool. Love this book. I think there's more. I think there's one more and I, I think it's the the Death of Jane Austen. I think that's it. Yeah, I can't wait to get that. And um, this one is The Edge of Nowhere. I haven't read that one. This one's cute, Bones of a Feather. Got that at the Dollar Tree. Um, Anne Perry, Acceptable Loss. Got that, it was okay. Um, Strange Fate of Kitty Easton, have not read that. Pigeon Pie Mystery, I have not read that. Dollar Tree too. But you know, they're good books. Dollar Tree, I mean, hello. Oh, that's not how it goes, I'll fix that. Down here we have, these books were given to us, uh, we haven't read them. It's The Shadow of the North and The Ruby in the Smoke. It says The Sally Lockhart Trilogy, book one. The Sally Lockhart Trilogy, book two. So I don't have book three. <laughs> um, I have this book, I just can't get into it, J.K. Rowling. The Casual Vacancy. I have this Narnia, Cameras in Narnia, How the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe Came to Life, the movie. I do have the Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker. I have the third book, Fifty Shades of Free. I have not read that. I really kind of lost interest in it. It's kind of whacked, man. Anyway, this one is ballet. It's kind of a mystery, spy, espionage, ballerina book. Never finished it. 
love this book. It's called The Breaking Point. Don't remember what it was, but I remember I loved it, so I kept it, and the yeah, the cover is gone. I'm sorry. This one is Ram. I bought it at a library a long time ago. Never read it. <laughs> Castle in the Rock. I know it looks like a cheesy, uh, <laughs> cheesy romance, but it's pretty good. And then um, I have this, I don't know why, Cam Jansen and the Ghostly Mystery. And then I have this, this was given to us, I tell you, I love you, but then I'd have to kill you. Scholastic, I don't, never read it. Like these books here, um, from Madeline Lingle, A Wrinkle in Time and Many Waters. They're, they have a religious aspect to them, kinda. Um, but they also have a uh, time travel aspect, so I like that. And I really like this book. If you like time travel and fashion, it's really cute. The time traveling fashionista. And then this one's pretty cool, The Prince and the Quakeress. It's kind of sad though, um, but it's really cool. And I think there should be more books to it. Yeah, book four of the Georgian saga. So leave it to me to read a book out of, out of order in the series. There's that one, and I'll this go to one the I have shelf. my classic novels: um, Jane Eyre, The Picture of Dorian Gray, Sense and Sensibility, Lady Chatterley's Lover. It's always been such a famous book, so I thought I'd read it. It was no big deal. Jeez. Uh, Pride and Prejudice and the Zombies. I don't really care for this book. Couldn't get into it. Ugh. Yuck. Anyway. Then I have two versions of the Pride and Prejudice Jane Austen annotated because I had dropped mine in the gutter one time and my girlfriend bought me a brand new one. Isn't that so sweet? How funny is that? But this one I had written in a lot because I had done a, a musical called First Impressions, which is uh, Pride and Prejudice. I played Mary, you know, the one with the glasses? Yeah. And this is my hand puppet they made of Mary. She has the material from the dress I wore. She has the little hair, the little buns, and she also has the little glasses. See that? These glasses, <laughs> basically. And it has the annotations. I did a lot of, it was like a textbook to me, and I wrote in it and everything. And it's very, very, very well used, and I loved it. And I read this book numerous times. I love this story. It's my favorite one from Jane Austen. Ivanhoe, classic, never read it. Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Never really read it. No, never read it. I just like the idea of the adventure and creatures that are odd. Anyway, Jane Eyre again, another copy. And I also have um, A Tale of Two Cities. Um, never could get into that. I have read Great Expectations from Dickens though. That is a very cool book. Got this book, uh, Kurt Vonnegut. Um, Slaughterhouse Five, Try and Travel. Have to read it again. I didn't really appreciate it the first time. Um, the House of the Seven Gables. I think I read that. I don't remember. And then this book is cool. I just got it because it looked cool. It's all old and stuff. Um, it is. What is it? Mm, let's see. Oh dear. What is this? 1907, October 24th, 1907. Whoa, E.J. Spence Biggs, wow, is it that old? Holy smokes. Drummond's Addresses by Henry Drummond. Wow, that's cool. That's why I thought it was really cool. Whoa, look at it, poor thing. Put it back up here, oops. Okay, this is the oh, personal growth kind of books. This one I had gotten a long time ago. I the, um, Getting Thin book is more about like how to eat healthy and stuff like that. The, then The Angel Inside. This one I haven't read, it's from the Dollar Tree, Women, Food, and God. This one is for a temper that I have, Honor Your Anger, and that was interesting, it really was. But the one that changed my life, well, I read that one, and I also read this one. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Very helpful book to understand your man. Okay, and so is this one. 10 Stupid Things Women Do to Mess Up Their Lives. I don't know if you remember her, Laura Schlesinger. She used to have a talk show on the radio. That was very cool. 
Um, the ones that changed my life though, the Law of Attraction. This is the Complete Idiot's Guide to Law of Attraction and The Secret. The Secret has changed my life for the better. I'm a much happier person. I know that I have control of my life and my destiny. It's so freaking awesome. Love this book. So you can make fun of it all you want, but I know the changes it has made in my life. Super, super awesome. It saved me and my relationship. I really do believe that. Uh, Rhythms of Life. These are just, I think, quotes, um, I believe. And this one I got, Develop Your Psychic Skills. I'm not sure why I got that. I'm not psychic, but anyway. Men's Secrets, What Every Woman, woman Should Know. <laughs> This one, I think it was a handout somewhere, Wisdom. I like the picture because it has a lighthouse. And this is, why am I dancing alone? Just to understand men. This is interesting, the pendulum. And uh, yeah, so let me put those back. And then down here, I have a lot of acting books because I was very much into acting for like um, eight, 10 years, I don't know. But yeah, so I have uh, breaking into acting, the health introduction to drama, I took some classes. I have uh, your first year in Hollywood, uh, storytelling, just, uh, the art of storytelling, acting in television and commercials, how to be a working actor, uh, acting for the camera, uh, acting for six lessons, uh, the perfect audition monologue, audition and then Actor in You, and then Monologues for Women, um, Two Minutes and Under Monologues, Two Minutes and Under Monologues, and then Contemporary Scenes for Student Actors. And then over here we just have some leftover books from my daughter, Fang, The Hunger Games, and Catching Fire. All right, so that is my collection of books and I have tons more out there but I won't go over them because they're probably boring and just to give you an idea of what I read that is what I read <laughs> have a good day bye I admire the activity of her benevolence but every impulse of feeling should be guided by reason in my opinion exertion should always be in proportion to what is required